All right. Let's apply what we learned in the previous review session of fluid statics to a relatively easy question. Okay. I will be going on the other end of the spectrum as you will go on to the other practice problems in the fluid statics concept. Okay. Well, let's start here. Here's what it says. I have an SAE 30 oil right over here. And the gravity, specific gravity of that is given to me as 0 0.9. To what is the absolute pressure at the bottom of the tank? It's asking me the absolute pressure at the bottom of the tank. And let's take a look at how it looks. Okay. So there's an oil with a height of 3 meters over here. Okay. And then I have water over here. Okay. As I mentioned in my review, if I have two fluids, and obviously this point, let's call this point A, and let's try to find that pressure. But one thing that I would like you to note is the pressure, let's say that I'm asking at this red dot point over here. I still will go through the same process because the pressure over it is constant, okay? Because the pressure is only a function of the gravity, the density, and the height from the free surface, okay? And here is, it says to me that this is open to atmosphere, so this is a free surface. That's good to know. I need to start somewhere, right? And I usually, my recommendation is to go through a two-step process where let's call this point um, B, but the goal is to find A, okay? So let's start by that. Um, so one thing to note is that this is, says that it is absolute pressure is being asked, okay? So my approach, and your approach may be different, is to start everything with gauge. Find the final answer in terms of the gauge and go back to the question to check whether it's asking gauge or absolute and then convert to absolute as necessary, okay? The reason is that when I start with an gauge, the pressure, what will be the pressure over here? Gauge pressure, zero. So it's an easier number to start with, okay? So let's go to it. So my PB will be equal to the gauge pressure is over there, zero, plus rho of oil, okay? So now I'm kind of stuck because the rho of oil is not given. Well, I shouldn't panic because I still have my reference manual in front of me. Here is a formula that is specified over there, rho over rho of water. And exactly on the same page, actually right beside it, you're going to see that this value is given as the 1,000 kilogram per meter cube, okay? So then I will be able to obtain the density of oil as basically the specific gravity times the density of water. Okay, so so far I got myself density. The gravity is what? 9.81. And the height that I travel between point at the free surface and B is right over here is 3. So I'm going to insert 3 meters over here right? Okay, so that will be my PB. As you can see in here, that's going to be 0 0.9 times 1000 times 3 times 9.81. Okay, multiplication. Let's look at the multiplication of these three first three terms first. That's 900 times 3 is 2700 times 9.81. Okay, so now I will go to the second step. In the second step, I will do PA will be equal to PB plus, because I'm still going down, density of water, which is 1000, times the gravity, times the height is 1, right? Because as you can see over here, the height is 1, I'm traveling in the water to approach from P to A, okay? So then over here, so I get my PAS, this PB was 2700 times 9.81, right? That's, I find it in step number 1 plus basically 1000 times 9.81. So over here, then I get myself 3700, right? 2700 plus 1000 1, times 9.81. So if I punch this into my calculator, I should be getting something like 36,000, uh, 0.2. So let's say 300, doesn't really matter. Okay, so approximately. Um, that will be the unit, will be Pascal's, right? Okay, so I go up and I select my A, right? Because it's asking for kilopascal versus pascal. Then I move on to the next question and I go home and say that, you know what? I did real well in this question. Not really, this is the wrong answer. Why? 
absolute pressure. So we forgot something. We look at the page 177 of the reference manual and I find myself a formula. Here's what it says. PABS is equal to PG plus PATM. Okay. Obviously this was engaged terminology. Okay. So I'm going to just simply go ahead and insert this over here. Right. And P atmospheric is going to be 101.325 actually in terms of pascals and if I punch this into my calculator I should get my P absolute 137,625 ish okay in terms of the pascal so then if I go back up here you can see that I was kind of not very accurate in the first approach because the question was asking me the absolute Right now, what I'm asking is the question configuration is the same, but now I'm, there's an air pocket over here. Okay, I'm asking you what is the pressure at this particular air pocket. Um, all right. So the first thing that you may do is this. Hey, this elevation seems to be the same, so I will calculate the pressure over here. That will be the pressure over there. And as when I move within the air, the pressure doesn't change when I have a combination with the liquid, right? I will say that this will be my pressure. Well, you can say it, but it will be wrong. Right? So that's not the good approach. Okay? Because what you can see over here is I'm going down. So think of this as like a U-shaped tube. You can see that I'm going down over here up to here oil. But when I go up over here, I'm going in water. So I have the two-step process here as well. Okay? Um, just like what I did in the previous question, let's call this point B. Let's call this point, um, let's say called C. And my question is asking about the pressure C and again just like the previous question read this it says absolute pressure so let's be careful P B if I'm using the gauge terminology 0 plus plus because I'm moving down so the density um, I did in the previous question so I'm not going to repeat the process but the density of this will be 900 9.81 times the height that I travel down is 3 so I have my point over there so if I put this point over T as D, would you agree with me if I say the PB is equal to PD? Oh yeah, right? Because I'm at the same altitude, okay? So then the next step is to calculate PCG will be equal to PDG, uh, which will be PBG minus, why minus? Because I'm going up, right? And this height is given to me right over here as one meter. So then I'm gonna go up in 1000, which is the density 9.81 times I go up as one meter. So if I combine this, then I get my PCG as 2700 times 9.81. 2700 is 900 times 3 minus 1000 times 9.81, right? And again, over here, I will get myself a nice PCG of 1700. 2700 minus 1000 times 9.81. You will see that this is 16,677 pascals. Okay, so I go back up here. I'll do the same track theatrical act that I did in the previous question. I'll mark it over here and call the day. Um, but that's not quite right. Why? Because it's asking me about the absolute pressure, not the gauge pressure, and I have one equation. That is given to me actually in the reference manual, page 177, and that will be this P absolute will be equal to P gauge plus P ATM. So this will be 16,677 plus atmospheric pressure is 101, 325. And if I add it, you can see that it's pretty much like a nice number. I'm going to get myself 1178. Uh, Right around this, okay? Pascals, which means 118 is the answer. So I mark this off and now I properly call today. Thank you for watching this video.